thank you very much. I'm so humbled and honored to be here tonight. I never thought that I would be having a chance in my life being in the United Nations. Thank you, Josette. <laughs> and thank you very much to Asia Society. And um, I have a lot to say, but I would like to thank the elite for, for the teachers. Because when I'm sitting here listening to what she talks, I learned my English by myself when I was uh, 12 years old. For whatever reason, I don't know. I just fell in love with the language. Every morning from 5 o'clock, I rode a bicycle about 40 minutes to the Hanzo Hotel, looking for foreign tourists to teach me English. I took, showed them around the city, and they told me English. My English is not perfect, but the things I learned are so interesting because the things the Americans, the foreign tourists with the China, they told me are so different from the things I learned from my parents and my teachers. <laughs> yes, I was in a cultural revolution, everything I taught, so different. Since then, everything I learned, I've got a habit. You have to think, use your own brain to think about it. just one more minute. When everything body said yes, wait for one minute. When everybody said no, wait for one minute. Think about it carefully, because if you look at the world in a different way, you might do it in a different way. And tonight I'm so honored and inspired by the, uh, the, all the uh, game changer partners. By listening to their stories, I know there are so much things I, I should do, I, could, I should do better, and so many things we can do. And I think that uh, I'm here today not to represent myself, it's to represent all the small guys, all the small business that I've been working with. 1995, when I left my university, I said, I told my, team, my uh, president of the university, I said, I'm going to be a, an entrepreneur doing internet. He said, what is internet? I said, I don't know. <laughs> and then he listened for two hours, say, okay, Jack, you know, I know you want to do something. I don't know what you're going to do, but 10 years later, if you want to be back, please be back. And I say, okay, within 10 years, I would not be back. I know, as a teacher, as I said, teacher, you always believe the future. You believe knowledge will change people's life. You believe and you hope that your students are better than you are. Students are the best of pilots. Today, I'm not a teacher, but I got CEO and the chief education officer of my school. So people, my, my colleagues don't like me because I talk a lot. And I say, I do the talk, you do the work. <laughs> That's a lot of work, right? When I stand the business, because it's so difficult to be a small business owner in China. It took me five months to borrow $500 and still fail. No chance. And it, it is, it is, it is, and I have no any idea about how to run a business. And when I go to register a company called Internet, the registering officer said, "No, there's no such a word Internet in the dictionary. How can you register an Internet?" So he said, "You have to register another name." So he was it "What's the name?" He said, "Computer Consulting Firm." And I have no idea about what is computer. So my first company is Panzo Hope, cons Computer Consulting Firm. It was tough. Without knowing anything about technology, without knowing anything about a computer, in the past 15 years, I've been working. I call myself like a blind man riding on the back of the blind tigers. <laughs> Those experts riding horses, they all fell. We survived because we worry about the future. We believe the future. We change ourselves. We never complete the others. And I believe one thing. I told my team in my apartment, we have to prove ourselves because if we if we can be successful, 80% of the young people can be successful. We don't have a rich father, we don't have a powerful uncle. We do not get one dollar from government, we do not get one dollar from the banks. We start from zero. So we have to work hard. It's not a proof of us, it's a proof of our generation. It's proof of the internet power. So this is I want to I always keep on sharing with the young people. And the other thing I believe always is small is beautiful. 
if nobody help the small guys, we can use internet to help the small guys. Because big company, SOE, which is the business owned by government, they taken care of. They were taken care of by government. Multinational companies, they were taken care of by Wall Street, by the uh, money. But only small business, nobody taking care of. If we can create values for them, we can be successful. Our philosophy is always this. If you can help others successful, and then you will be successful. I'm not in talking law, but I'm the person who lead the future, who lead the young people, who lead innovation. And today, by talking that, I want to say one thing, as just the general secretary said, the world is full of troubles. Today the world is full of complaints. I complained when I was 20 years old. Bill Gates took all the, you know, Microsoft, IBM, Cisco, they took their big companies. And to us, oh, we are hopeless because they are too big. <laughs> we complain. But now I never complain. I said, well, I'm a big guy too. <laughs> <laughs> And I taught how to tell the young people, when most people complain, where is the opportunity is? People start to complain, some people complain, some start, people start to change themselves, change others. Where the opportunity is, is where the complaints are. Where the trouble, where is the opportunity? And I always believe that. And this is how we've gone through it. And the last and very important, I'm going to be giving you a t-shirt, another t-shirt, right? This is the t-shirt, it's the, it's the uh, special edition for Alibaba IPO. <laughs> and uh, very, it's all made by small guys. And this is a small guy, and the small is beautiful, and the small is powerful. But in this t-shirt, very few people know that we have a secret code for Alibaba success. Just like Open Sesame is the secret code for Alibaba. The secret code for everybody is Keep your dream alive, because it might come true someday. This is what the secret code is. Thank you very much. Thank you.